Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what's new in the Zim editor. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and the editor can be found right up here at the top. There's also a start with the Zim editor right here, and we've done bubblings and, and perhaps even an explore on the Zim editor as to what's behind that start zap that's there. We call the things that we make with Zim zaps. And so if we go into the editor, here's, here it is. I'm going to log in, log in. There we go. I'm signed in. Okay. So what's new in the Zim editor? Well, uh, let's see. The primary thing is under the zaps here, we have these new promo pages. So these used to pop up a little info, but now they pop up a promo. So uh, if I click that, then here is the promo file for it. So note that it's in the Zim template. This is an HTML file that is good because it will show up in search engines. You can share it. We also have new uh, screen captures of the, of the zaps. And when you share this, you'll and it will unfurl that screen capture. So if you share this in Discord or in your social media, you'll get this image along with it. And, and you can, uh, I'll show you where we can do that, that capture. It's done automatically initially, but then you can redo it. This is a QR code that will link people pressing on this in mobile to go right to the, the feature. And here are the various ways of getting into the editor. So uh, we can just view it in the editor. Uh, we can see the code in the editor. We can see a full screen. And here is uh, copying the shared link, which is basically just a link to this page right here. And each of, each of the promos gets their own HTML page. And then here's a print page. So if you print this page, people can, your students, etc., could press on these and come into the editor and see the code right on there, uh, like so. Okay, we don't need that. And let's see, so that's uh, under file here. So if we load up a file, let me load a file. Yeah, about animate in the bits, okay. So I've just loaded a file there and uh, here's the screenshot. So that screenshot is now different. So if I say no and do the screenshot again, now the, the See that? So it's a live screenshot, whatever your, your app is at. You can um, then take a screenshot of that. Um, there's a link to the promo right there as well. Okay. And as well down here, if we we're currently viewing it. So let's see, there's zaps. We're currently viewing it once. Oh, I'm now viewing uh, the zap, sorry. So that's different than testing. That's what we had up on testing. So I'm now looking at a zap. Let's go to a zap. Mm. Layers grouped and transform, hit test grid. Okay, what's the hit test grid? Oh, that's the promo for it. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> I have to go through all my stuff. Where was I? Repetition. Okay, let's take a look at repetition. So here's repetition. Now that we're viewing repetition, I can hit full. So now there's a full repetition. See, uh, and if I hit code here, view goes back to view. So there's viewing it. In other words, it's a toggle full, like so. Code also does that right now. I can see the code for that. But if I hit promo, then it opens up the promo. Right. So that's a way that you can also get to the promo of whatever you happen to be looking at, although it's pretty easy to do just by going into here and hitting promo as well. All right, so I think that's uh, pretty well it for what's new in the editor. There's a few other things. Ah, right. If you're viewing something, you can't change these guys up top. You have to go in and test whatever you're testing, and then all of a sudden I can edit these things and add different modules or what have you. So in other words, these things are only for the right-hand side. That means if you wanted to, say, take this Trimobius example right here, and you wanted to try it in, right now it's in landscape, but you wanted to try it in square or in portrait, you can't fiddle with that to do it. Uh, it's been saved in this mode. So you would have to go to the code section, copy the code section over top up here, and then test it. Now it's testing, and now you can go square. 
So it doesn't look very good in square at all. <laughs> Portrait. See, that's a the problem. These these were certain ones were made not responsive. They were made expecting a certain. That's uh, with Zim in the fit mode. Often we expect a certain um, aspect ratio and build for that aspect ratio. That makes it really easy. Other times we do want it to be responsive. This happens to be one that wasn't made for um, a square setting. You see, and this is what the problem was. If you are on a square setting in the in the editor and you load this in, this is what we see, and it's kind of like, uh, this is broken. That's because it was made for landscape. Now it's not broken. Okay. Once again, we can certainly do. Uh, Zim can certainly do responsive. It's just some of these weren't made for responsive. And therefore, uh, we are now bringing in this beautiful particle emitter. Oh, and it, it was loading in in landscape with the proportion that it was expecting. All right. And once again, if we want to change these things, we have to come on over here. We could clear it. If we clear it, then we'll, we'll gain access to these things again. Or if we load something else in, or if we hit test, we'll gain access to these again. All right. I am Dr. Abstract. We've been hanging out here in Zim, in the new site. And, and we're continuing to improve the editor and adding more files to it. That's the plan. We have a search. We almost got the search done ready for launch, but uh, we'll get that done in there shortly. We have a great plan for how to search through the editor. So look forward to that coming up. Come visit us at Discord or Slack. So zimjs.com slash Discord, zimjs.com slash Slack. Or here we are on the Zim site, and you can press either of those to come visit us. We'd love to see you there. All right. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day or night. Cheers. <laughs>